Today, we're talking tracers, and this is something that's really become much more popular in the hobby of airsoft in the past handful of years, as indoor fields have grown into more cities, more markets, into people's hometowns, and we're all playing indoor, which lends itself to low light environments. Now, they're not a new thing. They've been around for quite a while in different iterations, and I've even been using tracer units, especially in Milsim events for night games, for years. Like the rise of like SpeedQB, SpeedSoft, people are running tracers more and more. Personally, when I run indoor, any chance I get, I can do it. So we're gonna be looking at something brand new, and it's this tiny, tiny little thing called the Brighter C from Ace Tech. So if you do have a tracer, if you own one, you probably have maybe owned an Ace Tech tracer or at least seen an Ace Tech, tra Ace Tech tracer in the past. And this is the most recent one before the one we're gonna be looking at today is the uh, Lighter BT Bluetooth. This one actually Bluetooth controls, it was programmable. It had a lot of extra features inside of it. It was like a chronograph. It actually would chrono your BBs for you. I mean, it was really neat. And they still offer this one and it's, quite compact, really small, comes in two colors like this, and also comes in a black, so bronze and black. This was kind of their release last year. They also have the lighter, which is like the lighter compact, which is about this size, maybe a little bit bigger take. I had a couple of those and I've loaned them out and they, they tend to walk off. But this is their newest one, the Brighter C. Now the Brighter C claims to be the brightest tracer unit on the market today. And it's really interesting to see because looking at it in comparison to the lighter BT, now the design of these is actually quite different on these. Now, this is basically a much less robust version. You don't have the Bluetooth features and things like that, which, you know, it doesn't add the chrono feature and things like that as well, but they both work essentially the same way. You're gonna charge them up. It has a USB type B connector. So you just kind of unscrew the cap and I'll, I'll go ahead and put the, the C back, or the lighter BT. I'm gonna focus on the brighter C because that's what this video is about. So you unscrew the cap here, and inside you have this little, and I'm gonna try to get out of the way to get it focused. You'll see that it's actually in on mode. I'll talk about on right now. That is your USB-B connection. You just plug it in, charge it up. No problem, it has an internal battery inside. This is good for like 20,000 shots, which is pretty impressive is what it claims for. Uh, in my testing, I charged this thing up and I haven't had to recharge it again. So it's, it's pretty interesting that, you know, through that all my testing and uh, brightness levels and things like that, it's never got a second charge. This one, however, unlike its predecessors who had this little button, and I'm gonna try to get it in focus for you here. This little button right here is your on and off switch, right? You like press it down, turn it on, press it on, turn it off. Most all of them have that. Some of them are hiding under the cap. This one has none, has none at all. So this one is actually motion activated. I picked it up, that's why you see the green light inside kind of flashing in here when I had it and kind of catch it there on the light, yeah. That's just showing you it's on, it's an on mode. This is motion, so as you pick it up, it wakes up. Um, to put it to sleep, it's actually pretty neat. You just need to stick something down the hole and it'll start a series of beeps. And after a five passes of those beeps, like five little, little series of the pattern, which I'll show you later on as I turn this thing off, it puts it back into sleep mode. Also, if you just let it sit, basically you set your airsoft gun down or whatever, and you walk away, it will actually go into sleep mode after a certain period of time as well. So let's talk about what's going on under the hood on this one because it is a little bit different. Um, this is the first one they've gone with like a clear internal. So inside it's actually transparent in here. And um, I'll show you, I'm gonna take everything off here. Inside, like I showed you before, the plastic, if I can get again to focus, there, it's all clear. So you can kind of see the guts, the, so that's the on light right there, lets you know it's up and running. And then inside, when you look down, there's the series of LEDs, there's three down each side. Now, here's where the brighter C kind of sets itself apart from the pack, especially when you're comparing it to the lighter, so many names are so close to each other, the BT here. Even though this has eight LEDs that run down one side, and the way a tracer works, by the way, is the BB, once you fire it, as it passes through here, there is a optical sensor that's the first thing in line in here. So that looks kind of like a, a light, but it isn't. So the optical sensor picks it up, so they fire and the BB passes through as it strobes really quickly and you get that flash of light. It illuminates the BBs, the glow in the dark BBs as they go through with the flash. Now, the challenge with this one is on this and the design, the lights are down one side and they're down the side. So if you set it up where the writing here is out, they're gonna be down one side of the tracer unit. So a little pro tip on this one is try to adjust it so the actual writing here 
is at the top on that. So that is where you want the writing to be on this because then the actual like LEDs will be at the bottom of the top. Because remember, you're putting a backspin on these BBs as they travel through, if the LEDs are on the side, it's getting a backspin, it's only gonna illuminate one side of the BB, so you're not gonna get a full illumination. And that's one thing I noticed in my test, you kinda see here, even dropping the BBs through the tracer unit, half of the BB gets the illumination, or the bulk of it, the other half doesn't. Now they try to offset that with actually having a white tube on the inside, so the light will reflect or bounce off that white that's inside of there and help get the other side, which it does to a point, but remember, this thing is traveling through in a fraction of a second. They're leaving, the projectile's leaving your gun at 110 meters, 120 meters a second, 300, 400 feet per second, and only has a moment to pass those BBs to collect the energy. Where this one's a little different is it has the LEDs down both sides, so it's actually lighting both sides of the BB up, giving you better surface area, and that's what's pretty neat. So it passes that for a sensor. The six fire, which is three on each side, simultaneously, and as the BB tra travels through there, it's actually enveloping it in light, and that's why it's clear plastic on the inside instead of white on there, and that allows a much brighter BB because you're getting a better energy transfer, but you can do it in a smaller package. Again, we have a lot less here, and then there are some tracer units that are much longer that are in their lineup, that are actually even bigger, that have like more LED array inside. But again, you're, you're exposing it down one side typically in those situations. So this gives you something compact. Now you see the threads on here. This is actually an adapter that comes with it. It allows you to have an 11, I think it's 11 on this one side and 14 on the other, 14 counterclockwise. This lets you attach it to a pistol. Usually a lot of the pistols have like internal threading so you can do that. But without it, this just lets you screw it right on the end of most every single airsoft replica because it's 14 counterclockwise threads on here on that. So again, you charge it up, USB, Rock and roll, it's good to go. You set your gun down, it turns off, so it's powers down. It's actually probably the most user-friendly one out there. Really it is. Um, it is FC and CE certified. I'm gonna show you some things with the BBs real quick. Oh, by the way, in the package you do get a USB cable, which is nice, you have that with you. I think everybody has USB B cables. Um, Using their BBs, they've got a bunch of different weights, greens and of course reds. These are greens right here. You're gonna get kind of an idea of what it works. I wanna show you, for, for those of you that never really had an exposure to a tracer unit, it's actually quite, a, quite interesting. You've always seen the BBs fly in the air and you can see the BB. That's what I really like about a tracer unit is it actually can see the BB traveling in the air toward your target, which makes it easier to play airsoft. To turn it off, when I talked about how that works, all you have to do is this. So you can leave it on your airsoft gun, make sure the gun's in safe, and you're just gonna put a pencil or something inside. You hear it beep? It's gonna do this five times and I'm gonna just talk over it. So after the fifth time, this thing's gonna shut down and go into low power mode or sleep mode or actually hibernate mode. And it's gonna be kind of out. So you can store your gun away, no problem. If you wanna force to turn it off. Right now, it's in the off mode right there. To wake it up, it's pretty simple. Shake it, pick it up, there you go. The one long beep. It's on, it's running. So it's intuitive, it's easy to work with. And I really think the, the Ace Tech guys are making something really interesting. So yeah, that's it. Also, to give you an idea, they do have something else. This is pretty neat, it's the Predator Mark II. It's by Ace Tech. This is their, uh, like, just a, it's like a full metal suppressor here. Now what this is, you can buy this kit, or it's fully assembled, it comes just like this. It actually has one of these little guys inside of it, and it gives you something. Now, of note, this is quite heavy. It's it's their own one. Um, it has a quick detach flash hider on. This is heavy, heavy steel, so that's why it has actually a considerable amount of weight. So it's quick detaching, you just pop this thing on and off, leave this on your airsoft replica. You can take this one away and do that, and then just kind of put it on, pull the sleeve back, it locks into place. To get to the actual tracer unit inside, you just unscrew the front cap, and what you have is a, one of those inside. Same thing. Exact same thing. So this one here, all you gotta do, same deal, take it out, you can charge it up and you can leave it in. It does come with a different cap, if you notice. I'm gonna show you the difference here. Um, they are both in the kit, so you can actually, look, let me try to hide my face so the camera will focus. You can see the cap on this one's a little different than the cap on that one, but you do get the uh, the other cap in there as well you can actually use. So yeah, that is it on this. You can, like I said, when you're done, you can just put it back in there, screw it up. Also, if you have your own suppressor, a lot of them will fit this. That one's designed purposely, it fits just 
perfect in there, so there's no problem, you don't want to play. But if you want to have your own, I actually have modded a few to, to put these in there. Also, I have a, a spell, like kind of a tracer unit project I'm working on here soon, so stay tuned. I'm going to use this um, for a little project. Uh, I'm working on with one of my buddies here, uh, kind of a tech project. Just kind of do a little fun build. I, I, I got something interesting working, just don't worry. It's worth, if you haven't hit the sub button, this is worth hitting that sub button and the notification bell because uh, it, it's definitely interesting. So. I wanna know, do you guys and gals use tracer units? Is that something you're into? Is it something you have and, and you've enjoyed? Or have you been frustrated with them in the past because they're big and bulky and, and all that? And now they're pretty small. I mean, this is all that would go in the end of your pistol. It's pretty cool or the end of your airsoft rifle. Um, let me know in the comment section below what your experiences are with tracer units, uh, what you use. There's a lot of brands out there. I really feel like Ace Tech's kind of taken charge here and really has probably one of the best products in the market, in my opinion. But uh, that's just me. I mean, I get I'm not being like compensated or anything for this review. Um, but if it's something you're interested in, by the way, I do have a link down below. Those are affiliate links though. So if you're interested, you can click the link. It does go to, uh, I get a little bit of money back uh, on the Amazon link, but it's no additional cost to you. Just wanna be full disclosure because of all the F Federal Trade Commission junk and all that. Anyway, so. Let me know what you guys and gals think. I'm interested to hear your stories about Tracer units. Have you had some stories where you've been able to catch like maybe somebody cheating on camera or it's kept people more honest or helped you become a better player because you can track your BBs as you're playing and things like that. Let me know. I'm, I'm curious to hear your experiences with these little devices. I have a lot of great experience with them. I love them. And I pretty much when I play indoors, am always using some sort of Tracer unit on my Airsoft replicas. I mean, just for the fact it shows up on a GoPro or just for me to play with. And I, I feel Feel like it helps me it really does i think just to, to kind of get an idea of what's going on so i'll see you guys and gals down in the comment section until the next time go out play some airsoft have some fun but no matter what you do call your freaking hits